open up Chrome and go to your slash checkout URL. We're in the process of setting up Stripe to take credit card payments. In the last tutorial, when we filled out this form with the test card, nothing happened. So go to your Stripe dashboard. No money actually came through. We need to change the checkout view to handle Stripe. Open checkoutviews.py. We want to see what the form is posting. So type if request.method equal equal post colon and below that print request dot post. Once that's complete, save views.py and refresh slash checkout. Fill out the form again with the test card provided, which is 4242, four times over, and then submit payment. Open up your terminal. Post is printed. Stripe token and CSRF middleware token are posted. The Stripe token is used to securely send credit card information to Stripe servers, where it's then charged. We need the checkout view to store the posted value of Stripe token. So open checkoutviews.py and delete print request.post. We'll create a local variable. We'll call this local variable token. Token will store the posted value of Stripe token. So type token equals request.post Stripe token and below that print token. Once you're done with that, save views.py and refresh slash checkout. Once again, you're going to want to fill out the form, entering Stripe's test card, and submitting the payment. Open up your terminal. The value of token is printed. We need to add our Stripe API key to settings.py. So open try10 settings.py, scroll right to the bottom, and type the following code. pound stripe stuff into 185, pound test key into 187, in 188 stripe underscore publishable underscore key, under that you're going to add stripe equals secret underscore key equals Skipping down to line 191, pound live keys, below that, pound stripe underscore publishable underscore key equals, and pound stripe underscore secret underscore key equals, which can be copied from the code above. Next, go to stripe.com and go to your dashboard. I want to point out that on the left side, there's a switch for test and live. For now, we're just going to keep it on test. Click on your account, then account settings, and click on the API key tabs. Here are my two sets of API keys, one set for testing, the other set for live. Remember, if you want to, you can refresh your API keys by clicking the arrows next to them. Copy each key and paste it into its corresponding variable in settings.py. We'll need to reference these Stripe keys often. If we ever have to update our Stripe keys, we'll only have to paste the new keys into one spot in settings.py. When you go live, uncomment the live keys. Comment out the test keys. Open checkoutviews.py. Before we can reference our Stripe keys, we need to import settings. Into line 1, type from django.conf import settings. And below def checkout request, which can be found on line 7, add publish key equals settings.stripe underscore publishable underscore key.
Lastly, update your context variable, adding publish key, colon, publish key. Now that that's complete, open checkout templates checkout.html and replace the hard coded key with the publish key variable, which is rendered through context. Type publish key to the end of line 6. Open views.py. We need to create another local variable. We'll call this variable secret key. Secret key will store our Stripe secret key. Type secret key equals settings dot stripe underscore secret underscore key. With that complete, open up a browser window and go back to Stripe's documentation. From the left panel, click creating charges. This page explains how to charge a customer. Next, make sure the Python tab is selected for the code example. And copy stripe.api underscore key. Next, open checkout views.py, paste the copied code. Make sure that you add into line four, import stripe. Next, we're going to want to delete a few hardline codes. So delete secret key equals, replacing it with settings.stripe underscore secret underscore key. All we've done is set stripe.api underscore key equals settings.stripe underscore secret underscore key. Go back to Stripe's documentation. The example code sets the Stripe token to a variable called token, then tries to charge the customer. We already have token, but we need the code that tries to charge the actual customer. So copy the set code, open checkout views.py, delete print token from line 14, and paste the copied code here. For this to work, the Python code should be tabbed in as follows. Once the payment form is submitted, this view will try to charge the customer. If the card cannot be charged, an error message will show. Save views.py. I'm going to sum up how charging a customer with Stripe works, then we'll test it out. Publish key is set to my publishable underscore key stripe underscore API underscore key is set to my secret key. I set these keys in settings.py. I then imported my settings into this view. The publishable key and secret key is required by Stripe to charge a customer. I put my publishable key into context. Context is rendered with the template checkout.html. When the checkout form is submitted, the data is posted. The value of the posted Stripe token is saved in a variable called token. The checkout view then tries to charge a customer. If the card cannot be charged, an error will, will show. So let's try it out. Refle refresh slash checkout. Fill out the form and submit it. There's money in my Stripe account. You can charge different amounts by changing what the amount equals to in the checkout view. If I change the settings to use the live keys, then flip the Stripe dashboard switch to live, I could start charging for real money. Just a little side note, if you receive an error that says authentication error, Stripe no longer supports API requests made with TLS 1.0. Please initiate connections with TLS 1.2 or later. It's because you are using an older version of Python or OpenSSL. That's why you'd get this error message. So go to this URL and follow the upgrade instructions for your system. Stripe will then work on your server.